I refuse to start on that. I really just, now. I, really I, now. I, I, yeah. Really now. You're gonna. You're gonna. You're, you're not gonna. You're not gonna include that. No. I refuse. I a boy, I to be a Hello, everybody. Uh, it's another amazing episode of You Don't Know Jack, and this episode is number forty. Corn. Hi, Blake. Hey. Hi. Hello. Uh, I have allergies, so everyone watching this episode is gonna be treated to sniffles and possible and, sneezes and wheezing and wheezing. I hear a lot of wheezing. Yeah, I also have asthma. I'm secretly a, an old man in a young man's body. Ah, I see. I see. I see. I see. Well, let's see how well you can hang in there as we make it through this 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 maze of an episode. So my name this week it's throwback to the 90s. Okay. I hope everybody gets it. Did you remember oh, your entire yeah, body? yeah. No. I mean, An old Mike Judge I, production. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mike Judge. Yeah. Mike, Mike Judge is... Local boy. Yeah, episode 40, Corn. Cornholio. I, Corn I need a tippy for my bugger hole. Yeah. Oh, I totally get it now. That is actually yeah. kind of yeah. clever. Hey, I, I gotta give see, you credit for that. See, I didn't go blue early. It was, yeah. it was clever. It was no, a Mike no, Judge, no. Mike Mike Judge production. <laughs> I love it. Got their screws. I, uh, I'm actually really excited for Silicon Valley to come back. Speaking of Mike Judge stuff. Really? Have you watched that show? Uh, I do not, no. But oh I've seen God, the, I've so seen the preview for this like next season where the one dude quits and becomes like a bajillionaire. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of story to get through between here and there. But like it's my corn. favorite episode and the one reason you should watch that show is actually the end of I think season two maybe the end of season one. They have like cash. an episode long setup to a singular dick joke to end the episode that is Jesus, one of the funniest really? dick jokes. Ever. Oh, like, you know I'm all about them long dick jokes. I'm just saying like for for the writing and calculation alone it takes to. Who caress all the way around that days. elongated Toronto, form. Caulfield, Atticus, it Finch, really takes a lot of talent. Player two? I think you know it's coming. Fuck. No, Tonto wrote Fuck. a horse. Player one. But Sancho Panza, Sancho Panza wrote a donkey. Don sidekick, travels alongside him riding a Miguel donkey, de Cervantes. A Fuck. I thought Tonto wrote a, wrote a donkey. No, no. But why was Atticus Finch and Holden Caulfield? Yeah, just to throw you off. That's just weird, though. It wasn't Holden Cornfield. Then it yeah, would be... Yeah, then it would be the wrong answer. Exactly. I like to call... Oh, no. And also a very cleverly yeah, hidden one at that. Step because it's time for you know that feeling you get when you have to sneeze? I see you your eyes don't? like half closed and you're sitting there. The tension is rising in your nose. I fucking hate that. Yeah. It's the most annoying thing yeah. in the world because you're like, I, I know I have to sneeze, they but it's going to take, it's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes. They say you're supposed to look at the sun. And that draws it out of you somehow. I don't really know. No, I, I, that's a fucked up thing. I'm one of the like two percent of people bad. genetically that in bright sunlight immediately sneezes. Oh really? Yeah. So huh. Well, yeah, it's I mean, a thing. You go out into the sun and the sun's like, hey, I'm bright and I'm bringing light to the world. It and it's is like, a pretty day. Do you want to go ahead and step outside real quick? I'm sure you won't miss any points. K911. Dog's best friend. So I'm guessing here you're looking for brands of dog poop bags. Never fear, underdog is here. Snow dogs. Pause. Damn. God, really? Six out of seven. I am. I am majorly impressed. I. I actually was not expecting you to get that. I was sitting here you and Jim Belushi the whole time. You know something really dumb? What? I don't. I don't fucking know anything about Belushi at all. And even though I have two dogs, well, have, that's not. That's not John Belushi. That's his less funny brother. Oh. Yeah. I don't know shit about the Belushis. I didn't know there were two of them. Wow. Really? Yeah. No, there's Animal House and Blues Brothers Next Belushi. Up. Right. And then there's Jim Belushi, who is. In a bunch of stuff yeah, like sitcoms and things, the they, whose name escapes me. But you, like, would you would probably not recognize him if you saw him. Fins, He's one of those guys. Huck fins, pelvic fin, <laughs> His Huck anal fin. fin or um, fins, fin. If Huck fin was disguised as a shark, then they would definitely see. Well, I'm not gonna say it out loud, obviously. But there's one and two. Yeah, it's a dorsal the fin. fin. Yeah, you don't want to. Shark, as well as other fish, is called the dorsal fin. 
I don't know why. I don't know why I waited so long to answer that because I definitely knew that, but it felt too easy. Yeah, right. It, it kind of did. But an anal fin, really. I'm sure they make a butt plug out there that's like a little shark fin. Oh my god. I'm sure they have. Oh my god. What an untapped market if they but, haven't. This one's but, do you remember uh, the like Shark Boy goggles, like, like with the shark fin I do, hands and I stuff? I do, I do, I do. Oh, when Shark Boy and Lava Girl talk. was not big. The star of Cheers <laughs> talking about renewable energy. The star of Fight Club talking about photosynthesis. Um, the founder of TBS talking about nanotechnology. Or the singer of Cat Scratch Fever talking well, about dark matter. I mean, TED Talks are always kind of pretentious. Too? And that's a Ted Danson talk. Oh, <laughs> I get it. While Ted Turner, Ted Danson, and Ted Nugent would all give TED Talks, Edward Norton would give an Ed Talk. Yep. And it's not the wrong answer of the game, which is what I thought it was. Fuck, it's fuck actually that, the right fuck answer. Fuck that question. Yeah. I was, well, I see, I was actually fucking, thinking photosynthesis. I don't know who. Plants, I don't know. You know. I don't know Ted's. I don't know Ted's. Apparently not. I don't know any famous Ted's. There's the main character from I Met Your Mother. Yeah, that's Why it. And his name isn't even Ted. No, it's not. Talking. It's. Josh. So I may have Funny how everybody knows every other person on that show, but not his fucking name. Of course not. That that actor actually inherited his name from the last guy who had no name, yeah. who you don't remember. Yeah. But I can name all the other people oh, of on that uh, show. Jason Siegel, Allison Hannigan, uh, uh, Kobe Smolders, Kobe Smolders uh, Neil Patrick Harris. So, uh -huh. um, get my own coffee. <sighs> Didn't uh, Cal Penn do a little stint Cal on that Penn, show? Cal Penn was on that show for a little while, yep. <laughs> that had so many good little... That, like, I feel like that was one of those shows so that even though here? it kind of ended on a note, yeah. it, it, of ticket stubs it's the worth the watch house. anyway. And I think they did, a, uh, like, a new ending at some cans. point, too. Did they really? I feel and like with the DVD balls. release, it what included a different ending. London's, but I'm not sure. Amsterdam's, Berlin's, or New York's. Like, so... <laughs> Sorry to go ahead and rip that band-aid off quickly for anybody who hasn't seen it, but yes, unfortunately, it's not the best ending no, the way that it was originally it's put bad. out. Yeah. No, well, the only thing that I can say about that show that's nice is, like, you'll really enjoy it the first time you watch it. Mm. Any other time, you're just going to be mad. Yeah. yeah. This way, at least you know what you're it getting. Kind of, you it kind of becomes it. fucking unbearable on the second, on the second watch through. <laughs> Oh, dude, this is bad. It's not there, there are some I moments with uh, Jason Siegel and his character that are that, fucking amazing. They're classics. Yeah, like if I ever That's need a, 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 a release, if I just had a shitty day and the world sucks and I just want to have a good cry, and yeah, I know what that sounds like. That, yeah, there are moments that I go to every single time. And and uh, Neil Patrick Harris has a couple as well. Yeah, yeah. With um, oh god, there's one little scene. That comes at the end of an episode with him and, and on its way. oh I don't god, um, Wayne Brady and yes, Wayne, their their dad. I remember that. And they sing "Stand by Me." Oh, it's amazing. Chisel off of the monument and send to the cops to show that he's serious. Abraham Lincoln's ear, George Washington's left hand, Thomas Jefferson's beard, or Teddy Roosevelt's glasses. Is um, Teddy Roosevelt on Mount Rushmore? No. Player two, watch. Player one. I cannot tell a lie. That answer is bullshit. Ah! Is his hand oh, on there? Oh, yourself. could. God yeah. damn it. More. Abe Lincoln has no visible ears. George Here's Washington what I was has no thinking. Hands. There's no Jefferson face. Certainly doesn't have. On or, 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 it's all faces. Yeah. There's no hand. Yeah. yeah. But it's. I read the question wrong. The it's a. It's a affirmative question. Well, I think we're missing the part where, like, I inadvertently just let our audience know. The Teddy fucking Roosevelt. I didn't know that he was on Mount Rushmore. Hey, Blake. Hey, to ear what? Is human. Hey, there's also Abraham Lincoln's Speaking ear. Of ears, you've just won. This stock of corn. Yeah, yeah buddy, I know. I know. Yeah, I hate you. I know. I hate you so much. I know. I hate you so much right now. I hate you so much right now. Passed down in your family from generation to generation. And still hadn't registered that you hadn't clocked in yet. I thought you had picked the right answer. No, no, you suck. You just made a huge comeback. I was actually sitting pretty, pretty firmly in the lead there. Yeah. Anger is anger is starting to rise. Oh. Well, do you want me to? Do you want me to like get you? Do you want me to get you to your boiling point? No. Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, my lovely lady longs don't want you to. I definitely picked that because I thought it was the right answer. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> wow. So like me with photosynthesis, only it actually paid off. Yep. Yep. Fuck you. That they changed their name to the green-eyed peas, or that they changed their name to the many-color-eyed peas. Uh, but, but. I mean. Players one and two. It's Sam gotta be right. The it's about the green eggs and ham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Classic I was, green but but like Sam, Sam, I am. I, am and I do not like green eggs and ham. Yeah, he hates it. Peas. So he would be yeah. anything but right. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. By the end of the by the end of the book, he's like, wait, I love green eggs and ham. Oh yeah, I guess that's yeah. Point. I guess that's a fair point. Box with a fox in a house with a mouse here, there, anywhere. But Sam, I am will find. They forgot to mention that the the fox was in socks because it's the fox in socks. You know my favorite. Dr. Seuss story. What? The Beetle Battle Book. Oh, God. Yeah, it was about beetles that battled with oars and butter in a bottle. Yes. Like, it was one of the best tongue twister awesome stories. Oh, I love that book so much. Um... I'm gonna go with a... be worse. You know, No. <laughs> Damn it. Alopecia means Alopecia that you lose means... all your hair. Yeah. So it'd be a nectarine. So a nectarine. I was thinking of a nectarine, but I couldn't think of the name for it. And right. I mixed up the two. Yeah. Because, like, I had that hairless peach in my mind. We know you like suffer from alcoholism. It would be a plum. We know you like a, a good hairless peach, Tim. But um... <laughs> you can tell. You can tell. You gotta you remember the name next time. If I had any hair on the field, play ball. Right. Oh God. Let's I just creeped myself out with that. Yep, yep, no, it's okay. So I heard Matthew McConaughey off in the distance. <laughs> you know what's oh, funny? All right. I started playing Persona yeah, last night, right. and that is kind of a prominent through line really? in the first like, hour or so. Jesus. There's a teacher who totally hits on 16-year-old girls, Ugh. and it's very creepy. Very. You know what I like creepy. to do? I like Here to hear that Windex on glass noise when I try to go down Who on somebody. Oh my god! I guessed. Player two. Wynton Marsalis is a jazz musician known for playing the trumpet. Ooh! God damn it. Did you go with Scott Joplin? No, I said B.B. King. B.B. King played the guitar! Really? Lucille! Oh, right. Yeah! Yeah! God damn yeah. it. That was, a, that was a sneaky answer. Yep. Because, because of course everybody else is going to default to the other black right. guy. Well, did you, I mean, the one they recognize. Does anybody in this day and age really know who Yo Yo Ma is? I hung my head in shame after that. I'll have you know, by the way. What? <laughs> after I said that, I just hung my head in shame. Um, did, what would you say? Does anybody really know who Yo Yo Ma is? Yeah, he's the, the cellist, the famous yeah, cellist. But I, I, I don't know how much that gets out outside of people who watched like the Colbert Report, where or, or like or, or like PBS. Or NPR. Yeah, yeah, PBS yeah, yeah, yeah. And NPR people. To treat Logoria. Um, lo oh. I think it's pronounced Logoria. Logoria. Like, like Ava Logoria. Watch the clock. Player one. Logoria is incessant or compulsive talkativeness. Kind of like diarrhea oh. of the mouth. So the I guess. So it's the actual name the for diarrhea of the mouth is Logoria. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah. Well, I mean, it turns out yeah. that's that kind of describes most Let's Plays. Hi, everybody. Weirdly, I, I they said the right answer first, and I definitely didn't pick that. Player two? No, but that's a good way to get pink eye. No. Oh. <laughs> uh -oh. It's a good way to get pink eye. Get it? Because it's Pepto Bismol yeah, in the yeah, eye. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Wordplay. Upset some diary. Press your A button. I, I, I am way too old to be remembering those cartoons. Or maybe I'm exactly old enough to be remembering those Which cartoons. Which cartoons? The, the Pepto Bismol commercial where they, oh, where they yeah. like made people go through an office and it would like pan down the line right. and one person would be like holding their stomach and the yeah. other person would be holding their butt. What happens when oh my god. Ugh, just add water. Hmm. She doesn't play dead. No, she is actually not, very, very she does much. She's not turned into a baby either. She grows a chia plant. <laughs> no. Cha 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 chia. I mean, no. she is green, and maybe she's maybe she's covered with seeds. Maybe. Maybe that's why she's all. God damn it. Fuck. We both fucked that up. Yes, got it, man. We both fucked that up. You did, but at least I broke even on that right. one. Right. Cha 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 chia. Eat peas on your carpet. <laughs> that one's cute. 
I keep seeing glass half empty, and I'm like, oh, I don't, okay. I don't know what that means. Um, that that there's a glass half full. Oh, it's a gremlin. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. oh, you son of a what bitch. What are they fucking called? N awful gremlins. Evil They're not gremlins? called awful gremlins. Or wait, no. What is it? When they get met called? wet, it multiplies. <laughs> okay. When you feed them, that's when they turn evil. Right. Right. When you feed them, they go evil. Yep. A bonfire would burn you to death, but not when you add water. Tur why would? Wait, it just goes out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I was like, yeah. wait, what? Yeah, there is That's, a proper answer. All right. <laughs> yes. Jesus, Tim. Fucking slamming down on that button, son. It won't save you. Uh, what happens to Daryl Hannah in Splash when she gets wet? I don't know. She turns know. back into a mermaid. I don't know. Oh, you don't remember Splash? I never watched it. I think they did a remake recently. Oh, this one's just... <laughs> a wool sweater goes back into being a full sheep. It creates a tidal wave. You know, that Turns woolly back woolly mermaid. wave. It multiplies. definitely multiply. It shrinks, motherfucker! Fuck, how did you do that? <laughs> how did you do that? Because I'm fast on them fingers. No, you, just ask you, you played with your, you played with sorry, your phone. You made your phone Player better. Sure, sure, sure I did. You still well, beat me by around $9,000 and I did. you're complaining about I did. how I, I made did. my phone Real quick better. though, Remember, real quick, hold on. What? I gotta give a, a shout out to Dan Cook okay. on Twitter. Okay. Uh, DC, uh, DC Cruels, DCC, I don't know how to fucking say it. Fuck it, okay. it's a Twitter handle. Today, he reminded me that I usually win in You Don't Know Jack. Uh, as far as this series is going, and that I had nothing to fear from my evil captor, Tim. And I told him that I would win out of spite today. No, you have just just for him, just for him. Good. I'm glad you have dedicated this win, and I am I am really enjoying how naive you are in thinking that anything that I sent you on Twitter about the 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 dread you should have today is in regards to you don't know Jack yeah but that's yeah. remaining to be seen yeah I don't care I won again 